Well, it's still the second, um, but I have finished my second mini and decided to just kind of throw this on. I can't remember if I talked to you guys about it or not, but I definitely talked to Glenn and I was torn between two sizes. There's the 38 and then a 41 inch um, bust. And I don't know why there's such a gap between those two. Cause like before that it's like 37, 38, I may even go 35 or 36. So it's only like one inch and then all of a sudden it's three inches. And I have about a 35 inch bust. Um, so I thought the 38 might be okay. The pattern doesn't suggest ease at all. And um, believe it or not, for as much knitting as I do, I don't knit a lot of sweaters at all. Um, and certainly I've knit one worsted weight sweater before and it was the, um, I'm trying to blank, the Tin Can Knits Flax? Yeah, Flax. Um, so that one doesn't have short row shaping or anything like that. So. Um, I had originally decided to do the 38 inch, um, but then I realized I definitely don't like when things fit tight over my stomach because that's like the area that I like the least. So I went with the 41 um, and hopefully that fits because when I did my pavement sweater, it turned out bigger than I had wanted it to be and I don't like the way that fits. So I don't know. Anyway, I just threw this on. I can't extend it because I'm about to lose stitches. Um, but you can see how the colors progress there. And, um, I mean, as much as I can tell, it seems to be fitting. And obviously this will be a little bit more pulled down. It won't be quite like this. Um, it's a very loose neck, but that's better than being too tight. It kind of actually almost feels like the brim of a hat because it's that folded over brim, um, neck band, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it feels nice. I just, that's another reason I went with the 41. I just want this to be like super cozy and I probably would wear something under it. So anyway, that's it. I wanted to record this because I don't know when or if I will be trying it on again anytime soon. Good morning, Vlogmas day three. You can hear I'm still sick. Um, and I'm going back to work for the first time in over three weeks. You know, if I hadn't been just gone for three weeks, I'd probably be tempted to call in sick. Maybe I'll sound bad enough that they send me home sick. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, I feel like I have to show my face. Um, that might sound dumb, but um, anyway. Um, I have my Advent minis this morning. I think um, maybe I'll alternate because I noticed in my first video, I opened this one first. In, in my second video, I opened this one first. And I mean, for no real reason other than I think I forgot. So anyway, we're gonna do sock yarn swappers first, day three. <clears throat> I also noticed this is really loud, so I'm gonna try and like make it less crinkly, but we'll see. All right, today we have Stellar Needlecraft is the dyer and the color is Forest Nebula. And um, I once again have not heard of that dyer. And that's truly um, why the Soccer and Swappers is so fun. I love being able to try out different dyers that I've never heard of. New people to follow on Instagram and um, as if I need more inspiration or, um, you know, need to buy more things, but um, it is cool to see what other people can do. And this is my stress knits <clears throat> that I'm putting into my Raglan sweater by Stephen West. <coughs> oh wow. So this one is um, like a tonal gray called Eucalyptus. And um, this is, I think, going to be, other than the pops of darker gray, it's going to be awfully close to the Dove Heather, I think. So um, I think with that variation, you will actually see it in the sweater. Um, but so far, it is going, like, it's almost a fade. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for, like, this really bright pop of color that's going to be, like, a stripe in there. But we'll see. 
Because I know Stacy's been branching out and doing some darker things, but. All right, I'm gonna go shower and get ready for work and um, get this wound up. You probably won't see any posts from me um, until I get home from work, unless of course they send me home early. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. Well, I made it through the day, and I've already been snacking on some um, peanut butter pretzels. These are from Costco, and they're bigger than my head. <laughs> I love these, so sorry I have crap in my teeth. Um, yeah, I don't feel great, uh, but I did make it through the day. First day back in over three weeks, and I had 185 emails, like a stack like this of regular email, and I, or regular email, regular mail, and I didn't even make it to my voicemail today. And that was my day. I didn't, I mean, I feel like I didn't do a lot. I did do a lot. I sort of threw all that crap and print out what I needed and what have you, but yeah. I really, really, really need to get some knitting done, but I also have to get dinner made. And tonight, if I remember right, is the shrimp pasta. I forgot to get the kale, which I always use spinach. Uh, fun fact, if you don't like kale, I find spinach makes a very good substitute. Um, so we're gonna have not green tonight, and uh, it's just the way it is. I didn't stop at the store, so. Uh, I may include a picture of dinner. Uh, we'll see. The dogs wanted to get in on the video, um, at least two of them, the boys. All right, Rudy. Hi, Rue. And Cody. All right, quick sweater update. Um, as you can see, this is the ball of eucalyptus. I've knit maybe five grams, um, not very much. You can see it here. Um, maybe there's mm, two or three rows, not a lot. This pop of blue is from the eucalyptus. There's, um, I don't know that I can find another one at this moment, but there are little blue speckles um, every so often which are looking really nice. And I was right, um, these two colors are very close together. Not that I'm mad about it at all. I think it blends in so well. And even if it didn't blend in and it was a pop of color, I'd be okay with that too. Um, I'm loving it, uh, but you guys will have to watch tomorrow to see what the rest of the stripe looks like because um, in order for me to get this uploaded and edited and all that tonight, uh, this will probably be the last update. All right, and on that note, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. And I will give you any updates tomorrow. I'm sorry that my life during my work week is quite boring. Um, I kind of prefer it to be boring anyways, but um, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying what you see and I'll talk to you soon.